As a mother with a child that's got pulmonary hypertension, the beginning of the pandemic was terrifying. So my name is Ashley and I'm Zach and Jacob's mum. Um, Zach is four and Jacob is five. He'll be six soon. And we are currently living with pulmonary hypertension in our house. And we are waiting for Zach to have a new set of lungs as he diagnosed with pH. <laughs> with pH. Yeah. With pH on September. 2019, so nearly three years, and we are just living day to day, enjoying the good with the bad sometimes, but not any bad. There's not any bad. So obviously, when the pandemic struck. Um, Zach had just hit his hitman line in the December, so that then struck in the March. Um, so he was diagnosed in September, hitman line December, pandemic in March. So when he was first diagnosed, it was very intense and very stressful. When the pandemic hit, I can honestly say it was the most terrifying thing ever. It added so much more pressure onto us as a family um, because we were so cautious of Zach and the fact that potentially he was going to catch it so we didn't let him in our house we basically cocooned ourselves away um, Gordon wasn't really working I wasn't working um, so we not, there wasn't money coming into the house um, so as much as it was terrifying it was the most safest we could possibly be. Um, then things kind of started to, not reopen, but I think people started like, right, we really need to go on with our lives. So did the kids. We had to try and like, not allow them to be scared because they were terrified. It was actually amazing having just the four days in the one house. The four days we are, we, the, the boys were allowed to be the shelf. The, there was, a, as much as pulmonary hypertension is in the house, and as much as it's the forefront of our mind, he wasn't being reviewed all the time. He was allowed to be a wee boy. There was no stress involved with it. Um, it was actually nice. Zach ended up getting it. He got. He took um, the COVID. We don't even say we don't even say that word in our house anymore because it was that he he had COVID in you and him, and Jacob didn't get it. Didn't you know? I don't overanalyze the COVID anymore. Like I think if. You, you overanalyze it, that's when it comes to your door. Like, I just try and don't, we don't even talk about it anymore. 